Mr. Kapavore made his first public engagement as the Minister for Public Service when he visited the IPA campus this morning. After arriving with Secretary Kali, he was given a walkthrough in all departments and sections of the Administration College. The Institute of Public Administration is one of the oldest institutes in the country, dedicated to train and upskill the country's public service. Under the O'Neill Dion government, it has undergone major facelifts, but now under the O'Neill Able government, it will go a step further by becoming a leading institute in leadership and governance in the Pacific. The minister announced that he will be tabling a bill on the floor of parliament to transform IPA into PILAG, or the Pacific Institute of Leadership and Governance. We will change to Pacific Institute of Leadership and Governance. Leadership and Governance is so, so important today in the public sector. So uh, I think we are all get to a soon where we are looking forward to this. And uh, I, I, said, I said again that uh, you have my support. Minister Kapavore maintained that as a responsible government, they must look at new ways of improving public service. And one way which has been encouraged over the years is to work in close partnership with the private sector. We should not face all the problems and issues that have been happening for so many years. Let us look at ways and means to change the way we approach our, you know, our learning and development curriculums and adjust. And that is what actually what the PHIP is doing now. Look at some of the course programs, some of the line up programs, course line up for next year. And I believe this is what you're doing. The minister finished his visit by encouraging IPA staff to remain committed in improving the public service sector in the country. Keep up the good work, that commitment, that passion to see the change uh, resonating to the public service right down to the district levels. I believe that's where the power of our people are. And I believe we can do this. This is our country. We believe in God, believing in ourselves, believing in our country that we can make a change. Stanley Over Jr., National MTV News.